Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple problem here. The perimeter of a triangle is 104 units. So we don't know what type of triangle it is, so I'm just going to make a, either, that's close to a scalene, maybe an equilateral, or a isosceles, doesn't really matter. The combined length of two sides is 64, and the entire perimeter is 104, so we need to find the third side length. Now, there's nothing that really gives us a picture of, do we add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So let me show you why it's not a good idea just to pick a random operation. So let's take 104 and 64 and let's add them. So that's going to be 8, 168. So look at that. Maybe the answer is A. Let's take 104 and 64 and let's subtract them. So that's going to be 0, 10 minus 6 is 4. Oh, look at that. Maybe the answer is C. Hmm. You know, this is 6th grade. We might not be adding or subtracting. Probably have to do some multiplication and division. Let's see what that looks like. Let's take our 104. Multiply it by 64. So, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 0 is 0. Add that one back in. There's your 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So we're going to remember all of our skills. We're going to cross that out, put a zero in the tens, in the ones place because we're starting in the tens place. So 6 times 4 is 24. Here the 2, 6 times 0, 0. Add that 2 back in is 2. 6 times 1 is 6. That wasn't too bad. So we've got a 6. We've got a 5. We've got a 6. And we've got a 6. 6,656. Guess what? Maybe the answer is B. Now, there's no way they could do this with division, right? Yeah, let's see. 64 divided into 104. So let's see. 64 doesn't go into 10. It does go into 104 and at least once. We know that this is going to be 40. So hmm, we need decimal. Bring down 0. So 400. Whew. Uh, let's see, 6 times 6 is 36, so let's try that. So that is going to be 24, 36, that's 38. So 384, so we're going to have to do quite a bit of regrouping here. So we are going to get 16, we need another 0. Hmm, that's going to be just twice. And let's see, double that is going to be 128. Look, at we're almost running out of room here. So that's going to be a 5. So that's 32. One more zero, maybe. And look, we're getting really close to this 1.625, so let's just hope it's 5. Let's do 64 times 5. Let's see if it gets me my 320. And it does, look at that, 30, 32. So look, I can find all four answers if I use all four operations. So we're going to need to use a little bit of brain power here. The perimeter is 104. So I'm going to say side 1, side 2, and side 3. So side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 equals 104. The combined length of two sides is 64. They don't tell us which one, so let's say that these two equals 64. So 64 plus that remaining side 3 is going to equal 104. How do we isolate the variable? Well, just subtract 64 from both sides, right? This 64 minus 64 isolates it. S3 equals 104 minus 64. We already know what that is. So that S3 is going to equal that 40. So you know what? We actually did need to Subtract so there, 64 for those two, 40 for this one, and that's going to work. Our answer is C.